this chip, the 555 timer, uh, was published in the late and published in the 1970s, as far as I know, and in this data book. Uh, here you see how it was made. Say all the internal connections inside that uh, 555 chip. Uh, it's a book from National Semiconductors. Uh, well, of course, you can study this. Uh, say, uh, on all the different stages. Say the difference amplifier here, etc., etc. But uh, of course, I cannot go too deep in this typical chip schematic. Uh, when you go to the World Wide Web, go to YouTube, etc., etc., you will find many, many uh, properties of this chip applications etc. And well, I also uh, bought quite a few of them in the past and used them as a timer. And uh, perhaps this is interesting to show mono stable operation, the way to use it. And of course this is common information that you can find everywhere on the World Wide Web. Um, a stable application, uh, mono stable uh, waveforms, etc. etc. So, anyway, you can surely find the data sheet of the 555 chip on the World Wide Web. Study it, etc. etc. There are many applications, uh, say, frequency divider, pulse position model, modulator, etc. etc. But I want to keep it very, very simple in this video uh, by using this schematic. I tested it, it worked out good, etc. etc. Very important to tell that I needed here a 220 microfarad decoupling capacitor to the voltage supply of the 555. Uh, only uh, with that capacitor the waveform was pure. Uh, by the way, only on the lower frequencies. I will demonstrate that. So, first a complete schematic, hope it's visible from this distance. And I have, say, switched out the ventilator of my scope, because I don't like that sound, but anyway, let's switch off the scope on, switch on the scope and see what this scope can bring and this circuit can bring, of course. Uh, at the moment we are on, say, uh, 51.3 kilo. Hertz. That's generated now by, my, by this circuit. And you can see here these very strange flips, uh, say in a, in a kind of way an over oscillation here, but anyway. Uh, when you don't use a smoothing capacitor, 220 microfarad directly to the pin of the 555, these, say, uh, antennas here will be much longer. So, uh, let me show that. And now remove that uh, 220 microfarad capacitor. 
So you can surely see that when the voltage to the 555 chip is not completely good and stabilized and decoupled uh, the waveforms that the chip gives out surely change a lot anyway clip on that decoupling capacitor again one moment please so that was all kind of good waveform now uh, second thing to show is that the frequency that the circuit can bring can be changed by changing this capacitor capacitor 100 nanofarad at the moment but I'm going to change it to another value so now it is a 10 nanofarad here 10 nanofarad and now we are on this high frequency say uh, 50 kilohertz but when I change the value here the frequency will go up or down but that depends of course on the uh, capacitor value and now I'm gonna use here 100 nanofarad let's see what happens uh, now we are with uh, 10 nanofarad and now we are with 100 nanofarad of course you can surely see that the frequency changes very very substantially and also good to see that that strange peak here is gone on the lower frequencies we are now on 5 kilohertz uh, there is of course say a different situation and then I mean regarding the duty cycle the duty cycle is not perfect say it's not 50 percent say it's it's it differs because this piece uh, this time is short and this time is somewhat longer anyway do your experiments uh, study how it all works on the World Wide Web. The, the, the next thing that I wanted to show is the so-called hand effect. So when I touch the circuit that I've showed in the schematic with a wet finger, you can see here, for instance, that the frequency changes, the waveform changes. Uh, this is uh, pin 1, 2, 3 and 4. And now I touch with a wet finger pin uh, 5, 6, 7 and 8. No big differences by the way. Small differences. But uh, it's all about oscillators. So let's do it again. Here's my finger. Here. So, sir surely certain different effects and when you are working with short wave oscillators of course uh, that will have a completely other effect go back to the 10 nanofarad cap we are on 5 kilohertz again so the frequency changes, etc, etc. It was only an ID to show that uh, with, say, when you touch the pins with wet fingers, you can surely see uh, a different waveform, a different frequency, etc, etc. And that's completely logical because your finger and your uh, when it's wet or moist has an effect on say the uh, resistance uh, it also has capacitive effects etc etc thanks for watching 
this was more or less all. And indeed, now it was made with a 555, but in the past I've made tens of videos with not uh, chips, 555 chips or other chips or op amps, but also with say classical transistors, field effect transistors, uh, bipolar transistors, uh, and with all these components I've made a lot of oscillators, they are all on my YouTube channel. And when you want to know more, go to my YouTube channel trailer and there is a looking glass and type there for instance words like oscillator, generator, etc. etc. When you want to know more about oscillators, effects of capacitance, effects of inductance, etc. Thanks for watching.